so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Now we'll look at two examples of adding and subtracting rational expressions with like denominators. We'll also review how to state the domain. In the first example we have 12x squared divided by the quantity x plus 3 plus 36x divided by the quantity x plus 3. We know in order to add or subtract fractions we must have a common denominator. And notice here we already have a common denominator of x plus 3 and therefore we can add these rational expressions in this form. The denominator will remain x plus three, and now we add the numerators. And therefore the numerator is going to be 12x squared plus 36x. Now we need to check to see if this will simplify. To do this, we factor the numerator and factor the denominator and look for any common factors. Well, the denominator of x plus three does not factor. Now looking at the numerator, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between 12x squared and 36x is 12x. So we'll factor 12x from both terms. If we factor 12x from 12x squared, we're left with x, so we have x plus. If we factor out 12x from 36x, we're left with three, and therefore the factored form is 12x times the quantity x plus three. Now looking at the numerator denominator, notice how we do have a common factor of x plus three. x plus three divided by x plus three is equal to one. So these two factors simplify to one, and therefore the rational expression simplifies to 12x over one, or just 12x. But we still need to state the domain. To determine the domain of a rational expression, we begin with all real numbers, and then exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero. And we do this because division by zero is undefined. It's important that we use the rational expression before we simplify to determine the domain, which means we'll use this form of the rational expression to determine the domain. Looking at just the denominator, we need to determine what value of x will make x plus three equal to zero. Well, x plus three is equal to zero when x is equal to negative three, which means the domain is all real numbers except negative three. A lot of times, we'll state the domain using a shortcut and just say x can't equal negative three. So here we have the simplified expression and the domain where x cannot equal negative three. Let's look at a second example. Here we have the quantity seven x plus three divided by the quantity x minus two minus the quantity four x plus five divided by the quantity x minus two. Again, the first thing to recognize here is that we do have a common denominator and therefore we can subtract these rational expressions in this form. The denominator remains the quantity x minus two and now we subtract the numerators. We be careful when subtracting though to make sure we subtract the entire numerator of four x plus five. We'll write this as the quantity seven x plus three minus the quantity four x plus five. Again, we need the parentheses so that we subtract the entire numerator of the second fraction. And now we'll simplify the numerator by first clearing the parentheses and then combining like terms. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here to clear the parentheses. Distributing a positive one will not change any signs, so we have the quantity seven x plus three, and now distributing negative one will have minus four x minus five. And now we combine like terms in the numerator. We have two x terms and two constants. Seven x minus four x is three x, and three minus five is equal to negative two, so we have minus two. In this form, 
the numerator and denominator do not factor, and therefore this is a simplified form of the rational expression. And now let's state the domain. We begin with all real numbers and exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero. So x minus two is equal to zero when x equals positive two, which means the domain is all real numbers except two. We're using the shortcut, we can just say x cannot equal two. I hope you found this helpful.